Future Prada's latest women's collection honored the essence of the late great German film director Rainer Werner Fassbinder. He always gave us plenty of food for thought, and she stayed true to that spirit today. It felt like an old avant-garde, a kind of nostalgic avant-garde, which is sort of an oxymoron. You know, it's, there was a shapelessness to the clothes, and I think that feels avant-garde today because everything's so body conscious. Everyone's always showing their body all the time. I think it looked very, very beautiful. I loved all the coats. I loved the layering. I loved the quintessentially Prada prints. And of course, I love the take on the German avant-garde. Through the shapes, a little bit through the loose cuts of the dresses, the transparency with the prints underneath. It was just a very rigid, sharp approach. When there was transparency, it was transparent that, that showed really nothing. And then there were heavy sweaters and it was all very oversized. And that the way that even the necktie was tied around and tucked into the clothes, nothing was showing. Why is the red lip so important at Prada this season? Well, I mean, as I've said, there's a lot of girls that don't have a red lip, but the few that have a red lip, they're either stained and as if it's worn off or it's a red that they've applied for them, done, you know, they've done it themselves. She always sets the tone, she always takes us somewhere that we don't expect to go. The color is important, but it's sort of jarring color used in jarring ways, like that monkey fur that was, I don't know what, was it a dress? Was it, it was like a second skin almost, it was fascinating. 